guys, what a gorgeous day here in Northeast PA. It's uh, it's uh, the first day of spring, and the sun's shining, and it was really cold this morning. Uh, anyway, I got this guy here. Sport C230. This is a stick car, too. That's what makes it really neat. It's fun to drive this car. Anyway, so I got this, and it's showing a problem with low brake fluid. I got this car over here. It's throwing a code. So that's another project. I've got a really cool car I got on Copart. It's another Mercedes, it's an 04, it's the C32. Fun part about this car is that right there. That pulley, that pulley makes a lot of power because it's hooked to that blower. <laughs> so that's kind of fun. But this is throwing a code too, it's throwing an SRS code. I think it's just because the battery died because it wasn't throwing that code to start with and it didn't blow the airbags. But all that to say, just another project. Now this car is sitting on an old hay wagon frame. It's not, <laughs> people drive, people ask me what I'm doing. What? Are you making a four wheel drive out of that car? And I'm like, eh, no, it's just sitting on a, on a wagon frame, a hay wagon frame. Anyway, this car got hurt. It got hurt pretty bad. It was all mangled up front, but the motor was good. And this is a C55. So we took all the guts out of this and stuck it in that right there. Because that's a nice body on that car. There are going to be codes on this without a doubt. Because we had, he took every wire out of it. And he switched them all around. I said, if you're going to if you're gonna do it, just take the whole harness. So we don't have any whole bunch of glitches. And just switch all the electronics over. And that's what he did. So, that leads me to the next part of the story. I've got a really cheap code reader. It's like a code buddy. It's real, just cheap. It's easy. For a lot of stuff to just plug it in see what the codes are they're generic and then you can erase the code from there which is pretty handy but i wound up going down a rabbit hole so the first thing i was thinking i was uh yet on the forums that a lot of guys are talking about uh icarsoft uh mb2 so i looked at that it's about 150 bucks i thought oh maybe i'll do that but then it dawned on me i've got other things than just the mercedes because i looked at the icarsoft cr pro and that'll cover a majority of makes and models. So I wound up looking at a lot of comparison things and stuff and I finally settled on this guy right here. It's the MaxCheck MX808, which I guess is the same as the MK808. The only difference is this is the United States version and the MK I think is world. I think they have more languages or something. And I wound up buying it from uh, jbtools.com for $384.99. eBay had them on there for about $380. I even see one for $375 as a starting bid. Uh, if you look at completed auctions, there were some that were a little cheaper, like $370, somewhere around there. But the real surprise for me was, and especially if you're looking on comparisons, you'll notice that a lot of those comparisons are Amazon affiliate affiliates, and they led right to the Amazon page. If you clicked on it, you know, check price at Amazon, and I did. And I checked the price and I found that the price was for one was one was 479, the other was 560. So that's quite a bit more. That's uh, almost 100 bucks more for the one, the, the cheaper one on Amazon for the same exact tool. Uh, it did get prime shipping, which means I would have had it the next day. But as it was, I, uh, I ordered this up on Monday night and it was delivered by Friday about mid afternoon. Here's what you get. This thing is basically, it's a tablet. And it's, it's got your USB, it's got a, a mini USB for charging, and it's got an SD card. And it looks like the SD card's in there. Huh, I didn't remember seeing where, anywhere where it said that it came with the SD card, but I see it in there. Power button, I suppose if I push this, it'll power it up, and it does. And I got my little on insignia light came on. <gasps> Ooh, it's firing up. That's exciting. Let's see what it does. I didn't register it yet or anything, so just swiped it to unlock it. Ooh, it's initializing data. Maybe I could just take it right out and see if I can get this internet connection is required for identification for the first use of software. All right, so please connect to the internet. I'm going to have to monkey around with this a little bit. Uh, I'll punch in my Wi-Fi and all that and get her hooked up to the internet and set it up. And if there's anything exciting, I'll put it on the tape for you. 
So I'm going to wind up walking through this thing. Uh, networking. We'll click on that, see what that does. Wi-Fi. I can turn the Wi-Fi on. Searching for networks, and there's my network. Ooh. Connected. Awesome. Now what do I do? Ooh, I have to enter my Autel ID. They want my email. I have to enter a password. Let's see. Oh, I got to do something very secretive. Okay, so they've gone through and they've sent me a verification email. I got my email on my phone. So I'll go through and do that. Now, I guess this was considered a bi-directional just because you can activate things like um, brake bleeding and uh, battery registration. Okay, I got an Autel service. You have selected as my new Autel ID, which is good. Set it to continue. Enter your password. And they sent me a code. All right, so they want my password. I hate doing this stuff. It drives me nuts. I got fat fingers. Verification code. Oh, here we go. Ooh, I created an account. That's awesome. It's got a whole different code on there. It doesn't have my the one I typed in. I think what I'm going to do, since I have my cell phone right here, I'm going to take a picture of this code in case I need to know it. Oh, enter the product serial number. That's what that was. <laughs> so it was ready to go. And I went and did that, and I shouldn't have. Now i got to type it all in. Oh, brother. Serial number, registration succeeded. Your device is successfully registered. Okay. I think I'm in. Now, I wonder if I could do an update. Might as well do an update right off the bat. It's doing its check for updates. Now, highly recommend that you back up the diagnostic data in the scan folder. Uh, I don't even know where to back that up, and I don't really have any diagnostic data, do I? Okay. I just hit OK. Now it's downloading. I just downloaded that, and it's rebooting. So now i got to see what happens here. It looks like it's going to turn itself back on. Yeah, and it is. Okay. Oh, I'll tell. It's, it's, bo it's booting back up. Ooh, installing system update. It's got a cute little robot guy doing something. Installing system update. Now, there's several other updates that I noticed as I was scrolling, and I'm not sure which ones I'll... I'll I'm going to try to do another one, but this is the only one that had the green button. So I'm wondering what that means. I don't even know. Okay, it looks like it's rebooting again. It's coming back up. Looks to me like you want to babysit this thing because it goes through a bunch of different boots and stuff. So when, you do a, when you're doing an update, probably want to babysit a little bit. But I want to do all the updates I can. I, I get a year of three updates. Android is upgrading. Optimizing app 15 of 65. So there's a bunch of things it's up, updating and optimizing. Oh, I get to reopen it again. I'm going to do that. And my screen's coming up. I guess you basically could use this as a, as a notebook. Not sure where to get into the notebook, but it looks like I got all these little, I can hit the home button, all kinds of different stuff down there. Update. I'm going to hit update again. Let's see if there's anything else they want. So it's searching for updates. Look at that. Now this, this button screen, I can update that one. I think it's going to make me do them one at a time. What this update does, system program, optimizes support for Spanish, optimizes payment functions, and optimizes the data logging function. So I think I'm going to go ahead with that because data logging may be something. Highly re recommended. Okay. I'm just going to hit okay. And it's downloading. Seems to be pulling this one in kind of quick. And now I'm seeing Audi, Bentley, Bugatti updates down here. So we're just going to have to keep going, scanning through and seeing what we're going to do. So I went into this, in the settings and display, and I set the sleep mode for 10 minutes of inactivity instead of one. Because it kept going to sleep on me after one minute, and I didn't much care for that. Which now I'm back to home. Update. Now it's looking like I got 20 updates. Auto VIN. That's my next update. And I think I'm definitely going to do that because I really want that. Release date, 2021 to 22. So February. Optimizes the VIN positioning of part of models. I don't know what that means, but hopefully it's the stuff I'll be working on. So we're going to go ahead and hit the button. So I'm just going to go ahead and press the OK button. Go skip that. And now it's preparing to download again. It's already at 100%, like instantaneously. Now it's installing it. Update is completed. Tap OK to launch the Max Check application again. OK. Looks like OK didn't do exactly what OK was supposed to do, but I'm going to go right back to that again. 
I might be rushing things. Max check is initializing data. It almost looks like I lost the boot up for the max check part of this pad. I don't know. We'll have to see. Try another update. And it's loading the update screen. It's taking a little bit of time. Benz. I definitely want stuff to do with Benz. Upgraded support annual models on sprinters. So definitely want that guy. Skip past that again. And it's downloading it. So I'm going to let that download. I'm going to watch more uh, beginning from this morning on YouTube. All right, that seems to be taking forever. This uh, this Benz update must be a big one. I'm only at 34%. It's probably been, hmm, well, almost 10 minutes. So in the meantime, let's look at the manual. I got the max check manual. Seems to have everything in it you'd, you'd want. I'll probably try to avoid it because that's what I do with manuals. You know, the whole guys and instructions thing. It's a manual. And it's a pretty decent one. And this one is all in English. This might be the only difference between the MK and the MX model. I don't know. It gives you technical support numbers, function viewer. Ooh, it's got the Academy. They got tutorials, which probably wouldn't be a horrible idea, but one of the reasons I bought this, it's supposed to be pretty plug and play ready to go. So, and not too hard to deal with. Shop manager, tells you all the stuff. I may, in second thought, I might wind up reading through this manual. But it also has this, which is the um, quick start guide, connecting to Wi-Fi. Pretty much this is all the stuff that it prompted me to do anyway. I mean, there was no way around it. They force you into registering it. I guess this tablet, you, you can play games on it if you want, then go do your cars during the day. It also has this little manual, another quick reference guide. Tells you how to turn it on. Gives you a scan, one of these scan gizmos for your phone so you can get the website. Shows you how to connect the cable on both ends. And then that's pretty close to it. it tells you about wireless data printing. Okay, we got her installing it now. That's, uh, that's a step in the right direction, installing. Also, I noticed this, update all. I must have missed that before, I don't know. So I'm gonna check, I'm gonna scan through all these next and see if I don't wanna just hit the update all and just update the whole thing. That way I'm set for anything. Of course, I don't see me ever getting a Citron DS Peugeot. I got a little check mark. I guess uh, this is a little different than the last time I updated. So what I'm gonna do is scroll through this thing. Added Crossfire model diagnosis. Crossfires are a neat little buggy, by the way. Jaguar, upgraded the basic functions at, and 417 special functions for Jaguar. Model of 2017 and later years, but I wonder if they go all the way down to my 96 XJ6. I don't know, but I'm gonna hit it. Oh, that's it, I'm scrolled to the bottom. And there's a bunch I don't think I want. Proton, and service for Sang Yang, Sang Yang. Don't think I care about that. Okay, I got a new check mark, and this one went a lot faster. It must have been a much smaller file uh, than, the, um, than the Mercedes ones. Well, I can see by looking at it. Yeah, Mercedes was 1149.21M. And the Chrysler one I just put in was just 201.12M. So I guess that explains that. Road shaker? I didn't even know that had a road shaker. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, I got another check mark. I got my check mark for the GM. I'm gonna scan down, down some more Hyundai. You know, Paula's got a Hyundai. And it's got a list of them there. Um, yeah, we might as well do that one. Okay, and it's downloading. This one shouldn't take long at all. In the meantime, let me show you what else we got in this thing. Oh, I got a charger with the mini USB. We got silica gel, which is very important. Just don't eat it. I don't know. I don't know why these always say do not eat on them. <laughs> but, oh, brother. You gotta have this cable to hook into your OBD2 port. So, let's see how long it is. That's pretty nice and long. Um, I'd call it six feet. So, it's not Bluetooth. I didn't get the Bluetooth one. I could have gone up another hundred bucks, I guess, is about the, the price of the Bluetooth option. But you know what, honestly, I, I, I'm not sure I want it. Except for, it would be nice because you could walk around with your tablet and do functions like the brake, bleeding and all that stuff. Probably there's times when it would come in handy. Well, that's about it. That's about everything that comes in there. You know, these things never fit back in the case like they ought to. I'm gonna leave the silica gels in there, just in case moisture 
keep the moisture out of this, even a high humidity situation. And we've got our check mark on the Jaguar. So that's awesome. Mark has a Toyota truck. So I'm going to get this one. The Mahindra, the one below it, I think I'm going to wind up skipping that one. I don't see anything exciting about that. The Maserati, I'll be ever so lucky to get my hands on a Maserati. I don't see that happening. Mazda. Well, now that it dawned on me that I could scroll right through these, even as other ones are downloading and I can do multiple downloads, I'm going to do that. So right now I've got everything downloading and, and doing it. I got my status bar up here. It says six and nine going. Renew's probably, it'll probably send another message back to uh, Autel and, and, uh, and renew any updates. I'll probably do that on occasion. I'm probably a couple months, I'll hit it again and update again. Uh, I want to get the most I can out of it until the year's up. And then I think I'll run out to uh, see if we can reset the SRS on the C32. I downloaded all the updates on the MX-808 Autel scanner. Thanks again, guys. Like and subscribe. Till next time.